Hello everyone, Gun Chronicles here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set the ground level in the prefab editor. And I have one of my prefabs here to use as a, an example. I had a viewer of mine uh, watched another one of my uh, prefab editor series videos and he uh, was kind enough to thank me for the video and in, in, down in the comments but he also had an additional question he was wondering how do you build downward on the prefab editor and uh, here let me give you an example of what he's talking about for people that don't know uh, if you're in the prefab editor you can expand on the side here now bear in mind I have the ground level set right here but if you go down here at the bottom it won't let you place anything the the prefab editor does not like it when you try to build even further down below the ground level and uh, let me uh, the, there's a there's a really easy fix for this though what you want to do is hit your escape key and it'll bring this menu up and what you do is over here in the upper right hand corner where it says debug tools you have this little uh, brick wall with a hammer over it and it says level tools 2 you want to click on it and it'll open up this menu what you want to do is check mark the show ground level and then now you can see where your ground level is at and then you have a move up and a move down. This allows you to control the ground level. So let's just move it down. And get here where we can see where we're at here. Looks like we can go down another one. There we go. Now, the movement keys for the ground level it will not go past the bottom layer of blocks on the prefab that you have loaded. You could click on this thing from now till the end of time and it will not move that ground level down any further. This is where these uh, move whole prefab where it says up and down. This is where these come into play. If you want to add more blocks or whether it be building blocks or terrain blocks uh, below the bottom level of the current prefab that you're working on you lower it first with this uh, ground level once you get it down to the very bottom then what you do is if you uh, uh, wanting to add more and let's say you know you're going to go uh, five five more blocks up or building so you what you do is you click on the move whole prefab up one two three four and five now you can escape out of here and now that the prefab is raised you can add blocks to the bottom of the prefab all the way down to here at the bottom nice and easy just add in whatever you want once you're done all you have to do is hit the escape key again and then come up here to the move or move the ground level up you'll just click it now it's back up to the proper ground level and you have all your blocks down below that you wanted to add in or whatever you was uh, intending to add to the prefab and once you're done with that all you have to do is uh, go back over here where it has uh, debug tools and then you will do the normal recalculate 
uh, light, click on it, and then recalculate stability. Be sure to click on that one. The recalculate light is if you added in any lights to the prefab or if you turn some on or off, hitting that recalculate light is going to readjust the light parameters for the prefab. Uh, the recalculate stability is very important. If you forget to hit this after doing changes, you may run the risk of when you have the prefab loaded in the game, those blocks will not have had the stability recalculated for them. And if it may load in and look okay, but the second you step on it or apply any weight to those blocks, the whole structure may come tumbling down. Trust me, I've had it happen. When I first started using the editor back in Alpha 18, I couldn't figure out. I'd, I'd, build, I'd build prefab, I'd load it in the world, and then I'd walk on it and the whole thing would just fall apart. Forgetting or not knowing to hit this recalc stability button is what was causing that. So always be sure to, uh, before you save your prefab out, click on this recalculate stability button. But once you do those two uh, uh, operations there, just come over here to the other side and click on save and your prefab will be saved out. Easy peasy, nice and easy. And uh, hopefully, uh, Benjamin, this answered your question and helped you out. And uh, so this is a fairly short and easy one to do. So I'm going to leave you all with it. If you, anyone else found this helpful, be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up button. And a subscription is always appreciated. But y'all have yourselves a good one. Gun Chronicles, signing off, and I'll catch you on the next one.